Welcome back to Best Care Forum. In this video, I will show you the benefit of using rotation adapter with the Autobock Knee Joint 3R106 Pro. Let's go and watch the video. The 3R106 Pro is approved for Mobis 2 and 3 users with a maximum body weight of up to 125 kg. As I mentioned to you in this video, I want to show you the benefit of using this adapter, rotation adapter, with the new prosthetic joint 3R106 Pro. As you can see here, the rotation adapter has to be placed between the socket and the knee joint especially when you have long stump you have to calculate it exactly to know that the size from the knee to the ground will be equal to the sound side otherwise while sitting the prosthetic cosmetically will not be equal but for standing and for walking the patient will not face any problem now as you can see here, we need just to bend it now because the patient is not present. When the knee is in fully flexed position, you can just press it here and without any problem, you can bend the knee in any direction you want. After you are finished, just turn it back and it will be locked automatically. And this is safe and locked, you can walk again with that. Another point very important, when you are doing the first trial for the prosthetic with 3R106 Pro, it's always important. As you can see here, these two extension and flexion has to be turned out to the zero and the factory setting. And according to the patient condition and how he is walking, you can adjust it and to find out the best possible and suitable for the patient, as you can see in following videos. I will ask our patient if he is having any issues when this will be recorded for our YouTube page. Are you fine when we are putting it in YouTube? Okay, thank you very much. Start walking, please. It is very important that you consider all the points of alignment. You can see it's very important and especially when you are using for the person which is wearing the silicone liner the knee height is very important and you have to measure it exactly to know what is the middle of the knee to be considered exactly and this is why he is now walking with the walking frame because it's the first day of the trial between the knee and the socket i have the rotation adapter and you can see that it's making making very easy for him that later on when he's alone and he wants to just activate this one and rotate the foot and he can wear the shoes by himself very easily thank you very much just continue continue Always consider one important point the adjustment and alignment for the extension and flexion you have to first in the first day of the trial put it to the factory setting and make it completely zero and slowly slowly while your patient is walking you can adjust Sometimes if you have a long stump and the person is actually wishing to have a rotation adapter, you have to explain to your patient that if you are adding the rotation adapter while he is sitting, the artificial knee will be looking a little more forward than the sound side and in the cosmetic form it will be like around 1 to 2 cm extended and this 
it's very important to be mentioned to the patient that it is his right if he's accepting it or not. Yeah. For the trial, we are always giving like between three days to five days according to the pitting and the comfort level of the patient. He can decide when he is willing to stop the trial and go for the final lamination. And as you can see here, I will show it to you now. You can see here it is the blue one, it's fixed with celacast. It's already strong for the trial, but not to give outside the clinic. You have to stay with the patient and with the walking frame, it's much safer for the patient to walk with it. In the coming video, you will see all about the fitting, how this is finalized. But in one other video, I will try to compare two knee joints, TR106 and TR106 Pro. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, ask me, write your comment below. If you want to share your experience with us, please, you are most welcome to write your email or WhatsApp or call us as you wish. Our telephone number mentioned right now here. If you want to call us or send a WhatsApp or if you are planning to email us right now, you see my email below. Please note it down, save it and we will be always in the contact. Thank you very much. The 3R106 Pro is approved for Mobis 2 and 3 users with a maximum body weight of up to 125 kilograms. Before fitting the user, please check the factory settings. The flexion damping is set with the valve slightly closed, meaning that it is turned two times to the right from the left hand stop. The extension damping is set with the valve fully open, so that the prosthesis is always in full extension at heel strike. To get a first impression of the knee joint swing phase control, have the patient walk in the parallel bars with the factory settings. The following video sequence will demonstrate how the knee joint reacts to the extreme setting of the swing phase damping. At this point, the flexion damping is shown at its minimum. At higher walking speeds, the user has to wait too long for the prosthesis to reach full extension at heel strike. At this point, the flexion damping is shown at its maximum. Please reduce the flexion damping a bit. The optimal setting of the damping is reached when the user doesn't have to wait for the prosthesis to reach full extension at heel strike, and the prosthesis doesn't reach its full extension too early. The knee flexion angle of the contralateral side provides a good orientation. It's important to always take small steps when adjusting away from the factory settings for minimum extension damping. As shown here, an extension damping set too high means that the knee joint no longer comes into full extension, which could lead to a fall. Reducing the extension damping setting ensures that the leg will reach full extension at heel strike. In any case, the user should not feel a hard extension stop. Thanks to its servo nomadic control, the 3R106 Pro supports a harmonious transition from one walking speed to another. This results in a physiological knee flexion angle during walking with higher walking speeds. Finally, double check all of the settings and adjust them if necessary.
Now the knee is set optimally for the end user and further walking exercises can be completed. If you are a CPO or an orthotist, prosthetist or a doctor or you are a patient, please for any questions and inquiries contact me with 009715030. This is my mobile number from UAE, also my email address, you will right now see it on the display. Please save this mobile number and this email address with you, I will be available for you 24-7. Anytime you have a question, contact me and you will get answered immediately. Thank you very much.